Did you know you could pick up multiple pictures from any website? Or that there's an extra dim functionality that dims your screen below the lowest level? And that you could just change format of multiple photos in one go? Or swipe with three fingers to undo any action? Or that you could type accurately without ever laying a finger on your keyboard? And there's actually a lot more, so let me take you through them one by one. So, let's say you're in Google and you search for Labrador puppies, you know, they're really cute. Then you go into images and now you can touch and hold one image, move it around and then start tapping on other images that you want to choose, save or just send to someone. Now, let's say you want to send it to someone on WhatsApp, open their conversation, just drop it there and you'll see all of those pictures show up ready to send. And this works on anything, so you could be on the Pinterest website and you could then pick up these wallpapers and you can drop it on your Gmail as attachments or as photos in your notes or again to a conversation. Now let's say I have a few photos I wish to remove background from. I could multi-select them and remove backgrounds in one go. So select them and save them to files first to a specific folder. Now I go back into files to that folder, select all of them and then tap on remove background and that's it. The phone would remove backgrounds from all of them in one go and you don't have to do it one by one. Now you know I really like to use my phone at night in bed but it's still quite bright despite the lowest brightness level. There's a workaround for that. So go into settings and then scroll down to accessibility and then to display and text size and then look for reduce white point. It's almost like a filter on top of your screen and it can go really dim. And here's a before and after just to give you a sense. Okay, tell me if this has happened to you, that you're listening to music, you turn on your camera to take a video, you know, let's say you're in a beautiful drive or you're having fun at a party and as soon as you shift to video, it stops the music, right? Okay, now, here you go. So, the music's playing, go into camera and while you're in photo mode, just drag to the right side. The music won't stop and you'll be able to record a video. Now guys, putting all of this together takes quite a bit of effort. And if you could just show some support for the channel, that would be great. And all you've got to do is hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon and mark all. That's it. Now let's move on to the next one. Now on the iPhone, you can change the format of your photos to PNG or to JPEG in one go. Just select your photos and then save them as files to a specific folder. So let's call it change format folder and I put them there. Now let's go back into files and then into that folder. Now I'm just going to select all of these, go into the menu and click on convert image. And now I can choose whether I want them to be in JPEG or in PNG. Super simple. All right. Now, did you guys know that if you swipe to the left with three fingers, it would do an undo action for anything. So be it, you know, deleting three photos and then I swipe left and it gets those photos back. Or let's say that you deleted three files or anything actually. Just do that swipe action and it would undo it. Now, you know, depending on the size of your phone, typing with just one hand can be difficult. But if you're using Apple keyboard, long press on the globe icon and you could switch to a left sided keyboard. And this actually makes it a lot easier. And this is very useful if you especially have a Pro Max series. And of course, you know, it could be on the left side or you could switch it to the right side depending on which hand you're using the phone in. But yeah, just long press on that globe icon and there you go. You can do that. But you know what? The fastest way to type is to tap on that mic icon and you could just speak to type in the fastest way possible. And guys, this really works. Let me try again. So tap on the mic icon and then say, and it's actually quite accurate. Super. Next, have you tried this? So when you're in Safari and you're trying to visit a link, you type the whole thing out and then you say .com, .org, right? Actually, just long press on the period button and it's going to give you all popular domain options and you can just sort of release and it's going to insert that domain. And it works pretty much anywhere where you're trying to enter uh, a domain. So it could be an email address input or a website input and it's going to work flawlessly. Now, guys, if you have an Apple Watch, just tie it like this, uh, you know, uh, at the back of your phone and then open the camera app. And you already know that it sort of uses the, uh, you know, the rare lenses. It gives you a preview window and you can just take a selfie with your, uh, you know, the main sensor, which is great because you get really high quality selfies that way. Super trick. Now, this one's for the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max. So if you listen to music and you get this dynamic island, right? Now, if you don't want it, you could actually just swipe right and it disappears. 
And if you want it to come back because you miss it, swipe left and it's going to be back. There you go. And by the way, guys, all of these filters that you're seeing, you can use these filters to record a video or, you know, shoot a selfie. And all of these filters are inbuilt into your iPhone. But to access them, you actually have to go into messages, click on the camera icon, switch to video mode if you want to take a video, click on the star icon and then go into filters and you get all these interesting unique filters that's not present in the camera, the regular camera app, but it's here. And once you choose a filter, close it, tap on record, shoot a video and then you can send it to someone. Now this next tip will help you if you often find yourself out of storage on your iPhone. So go into your settings and then into general and then into iPhone storage. Now here it's going to tell you which app is using how much space. For example, my iPhone has used up 78 gigs of storage. But if I go into photos, I see that recently deleted has about 9 gigs of storage taken up. Netflix is using about 8 gigs. That's probably because I've got a few episodes downloaded which I didn't remember. And that's a great way to identify now. And then similarly, you can look at other apps that are eating up storage, empty it out and that way free up some storage. And lastly, if you don't want any unsaved number to be able to contact you, go into settings, into phone, and then go into silence, unknown callers. And now if someone unknown calls you, your phone's not gonna ring. All right, and that's pretty much it guys. Those were some tips and tricks that I recently found out on the iPhone and I thought I should share them with you. All right, uh, I hope this video was really helpful. And if it was, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon. And mark all because that's the only way that makes sense all right i'll see you guys in the next one